Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I've got a bit of a hair series going on where I'm on the search for the perfect copper ginger orange toned sort of hair dye, home hair dye that I can do at home. There is so many out there that are just too red and no, that is not what I'm looking for and I know there's a load of you out there that are on the same search as me. I tend to find amazing ones and then they discontinue them so I'm constantly on the search to find the perfect ginger and I'm getting really frustrated, really frustrated. I've got a playlist going on, I've done this now about four or five times on my channel and yeah I've got another one for you and it's a hair dye I've never used before, not the shade anyway, it's clear all nice and easy and this is HWR Golden Auburn. Normally I opt for a base shade 7 and I go for like about 45 something like that so a, quite a bright bright copper but I decided do you know what I'm gonna go a little bit lighter so I've opted for a base shade 8. Now it just tells me WR so it doesn't tell me the actual number of what they're using so I don't really know <laughs> how copper it's going to be but I don't know look at colours on the back there I'm open for that obviously but my base shade naturally is about that so even if it gets to that I'm quite happy because that is still a quite natural looking auburny light auburn shade we'll see we'll see so yeah the last time I used clear on nice and easy was about 10 years ago maybe maybe longer I'm not too sure and I had grey hair then <laughs> I've got a lot of grey hair now I'll show you what my hair looks like when it's down now but yeah I remember it not covering my greys really well even though it says 100% grey coverage and my auntie and my mum this is their go-to hair colour and they swear that it is amazing so you know being 10 years or longer since I last tried it I thought I've got a ton more grey so let's give it another go now I bought this for something like £3.50 or something like that on Amazon but you can get them in like Boots and Superdrug for around £6 sometimes Boots do a deal where two, four, ten pound so this colour is not going anywhere this has been out for a long while and as far as I know it's going to continue to stay out there if it's amazing my gosh wouldn't it be great to have a go-to hair color that you could just you just know it's going to be there every like five six weeks or whatever that you dye your hair you just know it's going to be in the shops no hassle I would love that I would love it yeah so I thought I'd give it a go and show you natural looking nice and easy conditioners built into every step blends of tones and highlights this is a permanent and it's one application it goes into doing allergy tests and things like that now I did try this so I have tried it and it's fine obviously I've tried it in the past but you know things change don't you I'm on medication for like thyroid and things so something could react with some hair dyes and I haven't used this for such a long time so I thought I must do a allergy test and hopefully it's good so yeah let's show you what's inside so it's in three steps as most home dyes are so you've got the first step which is the actual colorant then you've got the second step which is your developing lotion so I'll be putting the colorant in the developing lotion giving it a bit of a shake and then applying it to my hair and then finally we've got the conditioner now this is usually the really lovely part of the hair dyeing process it just makes your hair feel absolutely gorgeous Gorgeous. So yeah, so just a CC Plus Colour Seal Conditioner. You've got some disposable gloves. And then you've got a little information leaflet here. And then it goes on to showing you the differences in applications. So as all home dyes do, they tell you if you've got regrowth, as it's a different process to if you want an all over hair colour. So I have got regrowth because I am going to be dyeing it a similar sort of colour to what my hair is now, but obviously you will see in a minute how bad my roots are so I'll be applying it to my roots and then leaving it on for 20 minutes making sure I've got a bit of hair dye left over and then after 20 minutes I'll be putting the rest of that hair dye through my hair so it brightens and evens the rest of my hair and I leave that on my hair for five minutes rinse it use a conditioner and I should have amazing looking ginger hair <laughs> hopefully otherwise if you're going for an all over colour especially if you've got virgin hair where you've never dyed your hair before then uh, yeah and that all over colour then you would just apply it all over and leave it for 25 minutes for this video to keep it short I'm going to show you what my hair looks like 
and then I'm going to go off because I've only got a viewfinder here and I can't see that well. So I'm going to go off, apply the hair colour to my hair, come back, tell you about the process, tell you about how liquidy it is, how difficult it was getting onto my scalp, things like that. And then I'll go and wash it off, come back and I'll do a bit of makeup so I look a little bit better than what I do now. And then, um, yeah, I'll show you the final result. So my hair then. Ooh. So you have to apply this hair colour to dry hair. Now I washed my hair yesterday. Um, I went for a walk outside, got caught in the wind, got a bit of hairspray in there, but that, but it's fine. But do you know what? The last hair colour I used, which was, what was it? The last hair colour I used was the Garnier Olia Intense um, Copper. And yeah, when it came out, it is pure, pure ginger, but it has got that red tone to it. It covers well, but it tends to be a little bit streaky. And I didn't like the fact that there was a big difference between my roots, which tend to be a little bit more red than the rest of my hair. So this is now five weeks, five, six weeks, something like that. And I know it looks a mess, but I actually really like the shade of this hair colour here. So you can see it looks almost like an ombre effect. <laughs> you've got the roots there, then you've got like a darker colour there, and then it fades into a pale copper, which I really like. I do really like, but my hair gets to a point, as well as needing my roots to be done, the rest of my hair, especially down here, it gets like hard to look after it doesn't look as nice it's like the shine has come out but then when I dye my hair it's like I'm injecting some oomph back into it and I can do a lot more with it it's yeah it's, it is weird it is weird so if I could stay this sort of color I think I'll be quite happy because it's quite a natural light auburn right then there's my roots <laughs> There is a lot of grey mixed in with my natural, you can see a lot there. So yeah, I'd say I'm about a base shade 6 at the moment. When I was younger, I was a bit darker, so more like a shade base 5. So I am going up two shades. I just hope that it lightens and blends nicely. And I wanted to have a bit of a regrowth there so that I can really see if it does cover my grey really well. Yeah, I'm just going to mix the hair dye together in with the developing lotion. If you're watching this um, wondering how I colour my hair at home, I have done videos, my earlier hair dyeing videos, I have done it and I used to be a hairdresser. I'm a qualified hairdresser. I haven't been doing hairdressing, not professionally, for a long, 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 long time. If I did, I'd have to retrain basically because things change, don't they, all the time. But for me, I do it all slapdash, so you wouldn't be learning anything from me, unfortunately. Like if I was doing someone else's hair, I would put a barrier cream around the hairline so that the dye doesn't go on their skin. I would also section into like a hot cross bun the, all the hair and do a little section at a time. So yeah, it's a lot different doing it on someone else than doing it yourself, so it's fine. And because I got really thin hair, I got really thin fine hair, so it's really easy for me to get in there to make sure that I've like massaged it all in properly. If I had thicker hair then yeah, I'd have to get someone to help me so I'll just shake this up it looks quite runny Ooh, oh dear <laughs> I'm just going to do my part in just down here just so that you can see what it's like and how thick or how um, runny it is and then I'm going to do the rest then in my bathroom so I can really see what I'm doing all right then got to put blinking gloves on didn't I <laughs> Oh, there. See, I can't look properly because I'm in the viewfinder. It does feel quite runny. It does feel quite runny. So you have to be really quick, I think, in applying this. Right, I'm going to go off and finish it and then I'll be back. I just applied it to my roots. So I'm looking pretty freaky at the moment. And I managed to put a little bit on bits of my hair. But hopefully it'll be all right and it won't lighten too much. But um, yeah, easy to apply, it is runny, it is runny, but it means that you can cover more space, which is quite good, especially if you've got thick hair. I'd still recommend, especially if your hair is longer than your shoulders, getting two packs if you've got really thick hair, because there's nothing worse than having a patchy home hair dye, 
especially if the wind blows from behind and you see around your crown little patches that you've missed <laughs> not good so um, yeah i am impressed with the formula it is runny you've got to work quick you've got to massage it in quick but it does mean that it's more spreadable so you can cover areas quicker and saturate them which is good so that limits any root patches so i'm keeping it on for 20 minutes now what i do like is the fact that it's not purple because <laughs> mm, purple hair dyes they scare me they don't turn out purple but yeah it's always like you put it on and you think oh hank oh hank what have i done what have i done but um but no it's fine it's white you can see it's lightening my roots already yeah i've wiped around my hair like <laughs> should have had a barrier cream but um it's just me i'm slapdash this is just the way i do it so the main aim of this video is to show you what it looks like my thoughts on this particular hair dye on an already ginger home dyed hair color but yeah see how it dyes my roots and how it blends and things and how it feels so i'm gonna go off now and then i'm gonna apply the rest for five minutes so the next time you see me hopefully i'll be looking gorgeous with my newly ginger dyed hair it's crossed <laughs> So this is my final look so i've washed my hair blow dried it given it a little bit of a wave and yeah i've done my makeup so i might look a little bit different to when i started this video my thoughts on this color well uh, when i was rinsing it i was like oh this is the perfect ginger perfect ginger and in all honesty now that it's properly dried i can't see a difference with this color down here than my pre-dyed hair colour that I had an hour or so ago but so that is good it does feel nice it's it's okay the hair colour is all right it's yeah the conditioner is lovely it does feel nice the only thing I don't like is that and I knew this could be an issue it was because I've gone up an extra lighter shade to a base shade eight obviously with copper in it even though it's dyed my roots you can still see that it's lightened it a little bit I'll just come up close and show you you can still see little flecks of grey as well it's not bad but it sort of blended the grey into the colour it hasn't completely covered the grey dramatically no it hasn't which is fine but my roots are lighter than the rest of my hair so that's going to be interested in a couple of weeks time when i start to get regrowth in so you know sure i'm not too sure about that but it's okay it's okay no big dramatic difference i do like the fact that it hasn't changed much of the bottom here i was hoping that this would lighten up a little bit um but yeah no it's okay let's turn the ring light off I got my little side lights on or else it'll be really dark in here so you can see the true depth of this color then it's a really nice copper it is a really really nice copper i really like it it's just the roots that's the only thing yeah it's covered really well you can see there it's covered really well overall i'm happy with it and i would use it again it's definitely a ginger ginger which is good there is no strong red tones running through it obviously it's a warm color but um but no it's the type of ginger i really really like it's not vibrant vibrant copper but it's just a nice natural looking auburn copper color so i really like it it's just the roots that's the only thing <laughs> but we'll see how it goes so as always i'd love to know your thoughts have you tried this hair dye before what color base shade or color hair you had before how did it come out do you like it do you not like it or if you've seen all my videos searching for the best copper hair dyes out there and you know of more i'm dying to know if there's others out there that i need to try <laughs> because i'm just continually searching <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed watching if you did it'd be lovely if you give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel for lots of videos to come so take care and i'll speak soon bye